I'm Chase Youngdahl, the Bonner County Weed Superintendent and Chairman of the Selkirk Cooperative Weed Management Area. And we're on a site here about 10 miles northeast of Sandpoint that uh, contains tansy ragwort. It's a top tier EDRR weed in Bonner County, an early detection rapid response. So tansy ragwort is a state listed Idaho noxious weed. There's still some speculation as to how it got here. Uh, some think it came in by cattle. Some think maybe it came in with contaminated feed. Others say maybe the railroad brought it in. But regardless, we wanted to make sure that we could uh, put forth our best efforts to eradicate this. And we started treating it with curtail and tellar. And a few years later, when aminopyrrolid or milestone hit the market, we started treating with that and started making excellent headway on seed control. And the original infestation was nearly 100 acres uh, between the three combined sites, and we have it down now to about two acres. So it is, uh, we're optimistic that at some point here that we can achieve eradication of this. So tansy ragwort is a biennial, so it'll uh, produce a rosette in the first year, and the second year it will bolt, bloom, and set seed. It's, uh, it's poisonous to livestock, highly poisonous. This is a beautiful meadow and natural pasture land, and it would be a, be a shame to have something this highly toxic and invasive take over this part of the county. Look at, b between uh, the efforts with Bonner County, Boundary County, the U.S. Forest Service, the landowner here on this estate, and the estate up the hill, uh, with the Selkirk Cooperative Weed Management Area, we really have uh, really made good progress in trying to, trying to eradicate this uh, very poisonous pasture weed.